Hi friends! This is Dainty Tank. Thank you for joining me. Welcome back to Arcade Spirits. This is part three in our series. Pope Tetero to see the first two. I'm going to be honest, I am exhausted, <laughs> so it might not be the best recording. Please be patient with me. As always, I really appreciate it. Let's keep going. So, last we left off, we got our job from Fancine at the Funplex. So, now we get to meet our other employee. Double door marked as employees only. Also with an apostrophe, leads from the arcade floor to what feels like an industrial area of some sort. Turn the handle and step inside. Turning that down a little bit. Alright. Ooh. That's cool. In a little room tucked away between the back offices and the funplex, find what is most uh, very likely this Naomi, spoken only of in myth and legend. You've only been here like 15 minutes. You already got a job. And now you're like, myth and legend? A girl about my age, but certainly not my height, is tinkering away on what looks like an old tube-style monitor. Okay. Huh. Didn't realize they had so many circuits. I mean, not as much as you think. She's probably repairing all of these, which is great. That's really hard to do in the year 20XX. <laughs> she doesn't notice me when I come in, too busy soldering a capacitor into place. Sure. <laughs> The lingering smell of multi melting metal fills the air of a poorly ventilated workshop. Ew, that's bad to do. Uh, excuse me. For lack of better way to interrupt her. It's worried no matter what I did, she, mi <laughs> she might, I don't know, burn her fingers or jump so high she hit the ceiling or something. Fortunately, the shock's not quite that intense. Ah! <laughs> oh, hi! Oh. Ah. Oh, um, hello! Hey, uh, you know this room is for employees only. She looks so cute. <laughs> Love it. She said with no apostrophe. <laughs> are, are you lost? Do, do you need something? I'm Dainty Tank. Dainty Tank. Yeah. I'm the new floor attendant starting today. <gasps> oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't realize Francine already found someone. I guess I forgot to check my text. <laughs> uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. She spares a glance at her phone on the nearby workbench where a huge stack of green notification messages lie in wait. How can you tell that from here? Is her phone on? How long has it been on? Uh, <laughs> um. One thought comes to mind on actually seeing her. No, no wonder I didn't notice her until now. She was totally focused on the task at hand. We assume retro nerds love. Never mind. Nope. Don't assume that. Totally focus. This room's right at the heart of the building, but totally isolated, with heavy doors closed behind me. I can barely hear the arcade. I have a little Gideon rubbing up and down against my legs. It's very cute. She is precious. Considering how completely and utterly dedicated she was to that monitor not even noticing me I guess it's also why but when I first notice is her smile even when squinting to see the tiny components on the circuit board even when laser focused she was smiling happily this is her happy place anyway I'm Naomi Fairchild the fun flex is techie hi, hi. <laughs> pleased to meet you I was expecting <laughs> Gavin though he usually checks up on me about now. I mean, he's busy doing strange things with numbers. Ugh, yeah, that sounds like Gavin. <laughs> I take it he sent you along to help? Great. Uh, give me a hand with this monitor. It's really heavy, and I'm still paranoid about dropping it after what happened last time. Oh? Really? What happened last time? Exactly, I want to know. Oh, well, I I dropped it. I, I mean, that makes sense. Oh. Right. <laughs> she helps me lift the large cathode ray tube. Yup. 
slotting the heavy metal framework into place within the exposed guts of the nearby arcade cabinet. Once done, she starts hooking wires back up to other cir- other wires. There's a surprising number of green circuit boards in the largely hollow wooden shell. I mean, true. It's the first time I've seen the seed inside one of these things. It's weird. Lots of empty space. A couple large slabs of circuits and that beefy monitor. But like, there's a reason <laughs> for the beefy monitor. That's that's how they were able to display. They couldn't do a flat screen. Because crystal, uh, basically crystal matrixes had not been really invented yet. So that enabled then the creation of LEDs. Um, cathode ray tubes was the best you could do. Why is it so empty in here? Maybe we could fill it with nacho dip. First time seeing the guts of the machine. No, why is it so empty? Seems inefficient. Couldn't you pack more games into our arcade? If it was more compact? <laughs> Not really. It's more about the footprint on the floor than the vertical height. Naomi keeps working, using a pocket mil- multimeter to check various connections as she speaks. Let mm-hmm. me explain. I mean, compare American and Japanese cabinets. Ours are designed for standing players, so they have to be upright, even if that means an empty base. That's fascinating, and a good point. Japanese candy cabs are shorter, so you can play sitting down, but I prefer American style. Ours have more room for art. (laughs) She closes up the rear access panel, closing it with one of the many keys on the key ring at her side. Then steps back to admire her handiwork. There's genuine joy in that smile. Not just at the job well done, but at looking the whole thing. Like it's a fine sculpture. So beautiful. Oh, I love the classic Midway style. Ooh. You know Midway style. Yeah. Look at those sharp angles. Side art details. The bold front on the marquee. The bezel artwork. Yeah. The what on the what? No, what artwork? With a sigh, (laughs) Naomi points out key features to me. The strip across the top with the game title. That's the marquee. Mm Mm-hmm. The artwork that wraps around the monitor? That's the bezel. I mean, you see it too, right? How beautiful and comprehensive it all is. Working in harmony to give this game its own unique feel, its own experience. As for me, well, a bunch of weird looking boxes in a row looks ugly. I agree, it's beautiful in its own way. It's beautiful! So you're a resident game historian? Nah. The way she stares lovingly at this. Well, honestly, this box of wood and circuits and vacuum tubes and stuff. I think I understand. It was made to be the one, to be one whole thing. The art, the style, and of course the game itself. All of it part of the same experience. Mm-hmm. It's a whole product experience. Everything about the game is the game. If you run in an emulator or a game console instead, it's made lesser. Then you actually have to focus on the game, and that's boring. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can see it. It's beautiful in its own way. Oh! Oh, good. Naomi lights up with joy, like a pinball machine, all twinkly and shiny. Oh, I love you. Woohoo! Finally! So few people really understand the beauty of the classic arcade game. Having someone I can talk to about this stuff is gonna be great. Especially with that jerk, Gavin, running the numbers. Gavin? What's wrong with Gavin? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Don't get me wrong. I can get along with him, generally. But this his whole attitude just... Uh. Ugh. <laughs> that was a noise. All he really cares about is money. He comes to the arcade running, yeah, but... Just no. if he had his way, he'd gut the whole place. If anyone's gonna run ruin the funplex, it's him. Mark my words, it's inevitable. That doesn't sound right. Seems easy enough to get along with. And what's more, Gavin gave me the whole speech about protecting their dreams. This looks like a pretty sore point here. Long-standing argument with the new person really shouldn't get involved with. Yeah, you're, you're like a half hour old. 
And yet, I'm evolved, aren't I? I have to work with both Naomi and Gavin. Yeah, but like, do you need to mediate this now? So, I'm not sure I should prod at it, but I kinda wanna know too? Don't rock the boat, clear the air and find out more. Let's clear the air, let's just do it, if we're gonna do it. I get this is touchy, but if you're going to work here, I think we should all be honest with each other, no gossiping. So I gotta know, why do you think Gavin wants to destroy the arcade? He buys into Francine's idea that this place is a place for dreams. He says he does, but he's willing to sacrifice way too much just to keep the whole thing afloat. Or the hell, best intentions, etc. If he had his way, the place would be like Deco's palace. Nothing but ticket games and prize catchers. He thinks actual video games are too expensive. Waste of floor space. They'd remove them all if he had his way. I just don't trust him. I don't trust him to do the right thing. Oh, but that's my problem, not yours. Sorry to drop gossip on, on your head like this. Thanks for hearing me out anyway. Right, let's get back to work, shall we? Now, for the less fun part. <laughs> Seem to be a strong, strapping kind of person. <laughs> well, a strong person at least. Well, you're a person. That's enough. <laughs> I'm semi-insulted then? Okay, let's get to it! Right, a little to the left now. My left, my left! You're right, careful! Now forward, right? Correct, I mean. Not, not turn to the right, keep it going, keep it going, and... There. Carefully, carefully, tip it into place. Victory! I <laughs> gently ease the rolling dolly forward, the giant wooden box slotting into place along its neighbors. Two-wheel dolly makes it easier, but hardly easy. Especially with Naomi fretting over her baby, getting scratched or worse, falling over. I don't blame her, she just fixed it. Oh! Hi! Sorry, I just got a <laughs> tiny little kitten lick. Why? <laughs> you adorable thing. Ugh. But with the work done, she's all smiles again. Yeah! Okay. Glad to be done with that one. I swear, I've been working on the monitor for ages. Those tubes are finicky as heck, and I'm still not totally satisfied with the flyback, but... But you had to put it on the floor. Thanks for helping me out, Danny! I think you're gonna do great here. Happy to- Did you- Did you have a seizure? What? Are you okay? Alright, oh, stomach growling, food expired, required, except- Oh, I wasn't exact, uh, expecting to actually be working today. I forgot to pack a lunch. When you have pizza on a bagel- <laughs> Thank you, Iris. Now, I'm just talking here, but if you had pizza on a bagel- you had pizza anytime. Shh. Hey, so any good restaurants in walking distance? I think the bookstore next door sells donuts and stuff, but... Oh, uh, no, not really, unfortunately. I mean, there's cheapo web sub sandwich place, but even if that stuff is super tasty, you don't want to go there. You need to eat healthy. Hey, I know. Wait right here. And she's off, scurrying back into her hidey hole. And she's back, scurrying from her hidey hole. Yay! Lunch time! Here we go. She presses a box lunch into my hand. What? It's a bento box. I learned how to make them from my mom, who learned from her mom, back when they lived in Japan. Oh, that's cool. Rice and pickles and all sorts of good, healthy things. Oh, that's fantastic. Wait, you're giving me your lunch? Sure, why not? Oh, that's really sweet. And yet, when I first walked in as a stranger, she looked super uncomfortable with me. That escalated quickly. I mean, you definitely helped her. Uh, what will, will you have for lunch then? Yeah, good question. Oh, I can just get some nachos from the vending machine. Just hit, 
hit the whole story next door. Got a book delivery to pick up anyway. But you said eating healthy was important. See ya. <laughs> she just pawned off healthy healthy food on you. So that way she could go eat unhealthy food. That's great. Can't help but think she was looking for an excuse to give her some go get some junk food instead. Honestly, that's not bad. You have not been paid yet. And you just got let go from your other job. A free lunch is not something to be snobbed at, especially a healthy one. I'd say Naomi definitely fits in with Francine's ideals for this arcade. <laughs> She's got a love for these games and it shows. Give me your lunch? Me, a total stranger? That's a kindness I don't know if I deserve, but I appreciate it all the same. So, a bento box. I've only seen these in anime. <laughs> it's cute and hopefully has plenty of calories too. Armed with a box of health food, I return. Re blah, blah, blah. I retire to the employee lounge to get my munch on. Sure. Uh huh. All right. So the room where I had my bizarre job interview will suffice for food times. It's not much. A few folding chairs and a kitchenette, but it'll do. I was about to say that's not bad. There's some TVs in the back, which is probably like their security system. <laughs> no, I want to click here. I'm really famous by this point. I have to. S I have have a seat and unpack my loaned lunch. Oh, I got two for Naomi. Seems like there might be like five on the left, maybe. Okay, so so far, I'm whatever the heart is, and a little bit more that. Less funny and less- and I'm not boring. That's good. That's good. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. What is happening? I don't know. <laughs> what? Um. Coherent screaming. I opened my mouth as long as I could and let the fear fall from my lips. My mind devoid of any emotion but horror. Horrific vision. Whoa, whoa, it's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm a real human being, I promise. Horrific vision? It's just a costume. Hey, so I'm sorry if I traumatized you. Really? Are you sure? Because you're staring out from a flamingo's neck. Can we start over, maybe? Nope. <laughs> Not my head slowly, although that could just be a muscle spasms from being in shock. I'm Ashley. Alright, Ashley. <laughs> You're terrifying. And I am dainty. I'm also Pinky the Funplex Flamingo. It's my secret, yet not-so-secret identity. I mean, that's great, but why the eyes out of the side of the neck? Looks like it got ate by a vampire and then rose again. Oh my god. What, the funplex what now? This is almost too much to take in. Gavin was a bit, uh, a bit of a lot. Naomi was off the scale cheerful. I've met some really intense people so far. That's kind of Francine's kind of like thing though is get people with some heart and feel. You're kind of the most bland of them all, only because we haven't developed your personality yet. Did you sneak into the employee section just to get my autograph? Uh... You caught me. I, I was looking for flamingo vampires. Me or no. Oh, I thought you would recognize Pinky from all the signs around the arcade. A pinky is the mascot of the Funplex, after all. Terrifying. Oh no, that's not what I meant at all. I mean, I work here. You work here? Since when? Like, a couple hours ago. Today? This morning, to be specific. Oh, awesome! Welcome to the Funplex! <gasps> okay. Hmm... I mean, it would be way cooler if you were just so enamored with the chibi. That's not a chibi. Flamingo creature plastered on every wall that you had to know more. Are you sure? 
Let's see. Oh, that is a cute face, though. <laughs> you could have sneak stealthily maneuvered your way through all of the games, sliding right up, uh, right on up to the employees only door. Was anybody sitting there watching the monitors in the back corner? I don't think so. It's probably burning on to VHS. But how did you get the door code? Ooh. Of course! You would have to collect the password on a piece of paper that fell from Gavin's pocket. You searched your heart inside that four digit number had to be the intel you needed. Let's see. Uh huh. Next, you needed to lie in wait for the opportune moment, punch in this secret key code just to find me. How long have you been back here? And why are you back here fully, like, prepped? Oh my god. It just keeps going and going. She's definitely passionate about this fictional scenario. <laughs> Ashley's got quite the imagination, alright. So how are you come across the people as a creepy trespasser? She's definitely, uh, passionate. <laughs> the way she just takes an idea and runs with it. A lot of people might find that weird, but I kind of dig it. She has a lot of imagination. I wonder if she's a writer or something. And how would would you snuck out, I wonder? Hmm, I could have helped. <laughs> but for a price. <laughs> okay. Okay, Flamingo. Ashley finally realizes she's been babbling to herself for a couple, good couple minutes. Uh, oops. Yeah. Uh... Sometimes it gets swept away in a good story. I mean, I gotta find some way to make this job more interesting. Is it really that dull here? No, not really. I just crave a different kind of excitement than beeps and boops, screaming children, and broken machines. <laughs> you aren't really painting the best picture here. Ah, jeez. I don't mean to be a downer. I just want to move up in the world. I've got things to accomplish. Dreams to fulfill. Cosplay to make. Oh, you're a cosplayer. I got you now. I fully understand your dreams. Cosplay? Don't worry, Dainty. We got cosplay. So we switch topics. It's like she's a completely different person. Ashley's eyes light up and she smiles. Yeah, you know? Like dressing up as your favorite video game or TV character. I love it. Good for you. So empowering to be able to make your own costume and wear it proudly. It's even better when people recognize what character you are. Empowering, really? Yeah, it's fun. Granted, she certainly had the power to stop my heart for a few for a few beats. I'm oh, because you scared her. Oh, got it. Yes. Definitely. You want to try? Got a favorite video game character? Help you make your first cosplay if you want. In fact, I made this one! You made the- Oh, I mean, one, very impressive. In every aspect. Except for two, some feedback. Please don't put eye holes in the side of the neck. Just saying. That was the bad- That was the downfall. Maybe eye holes through the mouth would make sense. But of course, then you'd be looking through the mouth at, at a kid, which means the mouth is coming right at the kid. That would be terrifying, but not as terrifying as a uh, vampire in the in the side there. <sighs> I think Ashley's pointing to her flamingo off <laughs> costume, but it's hard to tell with her hands as feathers. So, Pinky is your creation? Intentionally? Yep, it looks pretty good for my first mascot cosplay, doesn't it? Probably stitch my hands together if I tried that. Are you going for terrifying? Then yes. No heads or tails, but I appreciate it. I and that's gonna be mean. Yeah, I'd stitch my hands together. I'm all thumbs when it comes to stuff like that. Literally, I get enough thread running between them. <laughs> Pretty impressed though. Naomi was going on about craftsmanship of games. Clearly, you're dig digging on craftsmanship of costumes. Aw, thanks. It's nice when hard work is appreciated. True. I worried around the fun plaques to liven up the crowds, get people bumped to play some games, and kids seem to adore it. That's great. <laughs> if 
for the kids. That makes sense. Although the arcade has been completely dead so far. No crowds to pump or kids to be adored by. Yeah, I was about to say. Hey, secret between you and me? Ashley motions for me to come closer. She leans in, glances around the room once, then talks in a hushed tone. I did some repairs on Pinky overnight. Okay. I had to restitch the left arm and I was giving her an old test drive to make sure it didn't fall off. Huh? Limbs falling off seems bad. Oh, it was. Yesterday I was dancing with a little girl. Must have been like five, six max. Anyway, we were next to the showtime stage when she tugged on my arm and... Whoosh! Off came the arm. The girl instantly started bawling. Well, at least you were cons constantly scaring people, and it's not just me. Nope. <laughs> hey, now. I don't want that happen again. I felt so bad. Yeah, I don't blame you. But enough about me. What about you? So you're, uh, Carl's replacement? I guess so. I'm a new floor attendant. I attend the floor. The floor is a thing I'm attending to when I'm not going into a cardiac arrest. <laughs> At least you're funnier than Carl. That's for sure. I can't wait to go home and tell Juniper I did have a sense of humor. She'll be so proud. I assume you've already met Francine. But have you had a chance to meet Gavin and Naomi yet? Yeah, I met them already. Although it seems like they aren't too keen on each other. Right? She rolls her eyes and laughs out la laughs as out a sigh. Did I read that right? I wish they would hurry up and make out already. Really? Yeah. Wait. What? Seriously? So, are, are they going out? <laughs> nope. But they always bicker like an old married couple. It's a classic anime cliche. The ones who fight always end up together. Mark my words, dainty. O okay. Consider them marks. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 dainty. What's that sound? Drat. I sent an alarm for when my lunch break was over. Time to go back to the grindstone. I didn't even get a chance to eat. What? No! So Dainty needs their calories. You eat up, I'll go watch the floor. In fact, how about I take over the ticket desk for the next shift? You can do my job and wander the floor for a bit. Fair enough. Thanks. Ashley winks before her face disappears into a dark recesses of that inhumane mask. As I am wolfing down rice and a shape of a little heart, wow, it occurs to me I didn't actually ponder my first impressions of Ashley yet. Let's see. She's pretty amazing. I like her enthusiasm about her art. She's got a lot going on in the head of hers. I just don't understand it all. No, she's pretty amazing. <laughs> she's a good person. Yeah. Whole expression changed when she talks about things she's passionate about and warms my heart. Beaming energy just lights up the whole room. I wonder if one day I'll be excited. I I'll be that excited about something. Anyway, with lunch in my belly and break time complete, the second half of my workday began. Rolling into the afternoon, the crowd starts to fill out. School's done. The late rising pros are heading out to their arcades of choice. With Ashley covering the desk, my job is to wander the floor looking for problems. Or potential problems, or just making sure everything's a okay. But for starters, it's a good moment to collect my thoughts. I think I'm off to a decent start with my coworkers. Good first impressions, at any rate. Cooperation's gonna be a bust. I've had awful coworkers before, but and they can really drag down your day. Hang on, no time for daydreaming. I mean, didn't you say now's a good time to, like, collect my thoughts? Oh, no time for daydreaming. I think I spot, let's see, three possible issues to look into? Should I have time to get to all of them? What do I tackle first? A rate customer near Mr. Moppy's maze. Someone crash cursing up a storm at the fist of discomfort. A loud crowd around the showtime stage. Um, let's deal with the crowd first. In distance, I see a number of people gathering, which is surprising since the first half of my shift was complete and utter solitude. Don't get me wrong, happy to see people do come to the arcade. But that's quite the crowd that's assembling. This has to be some <laughs> against my some fire code or safety protocol or something, right? 
Speaking as a citizen that enjoys living, having the escape route in case of emergency is necessary. Time to clear away and pave my own path of safety. As I approach, I see flashing green neon com uh, accompanied by upbeat Europop drifts. Alright. It's an auditory flashback right to the 1980-something. I can't help but nod my head to the beat. Alright. Pulsing mass of people have surrounded the Showtime stage, cheering on the current player. The game itself takes on a whole corner of the arcade, requiring a fair amount of space to actually play. Showtime stage is an ultra-modern ultra arcade smash hit. Uses modern tracking sensors hidden behind the colored spotlights to check dance pose accuracy and score your sweet moves. It's pure dance fever. Can you catch the fever, Dainty? I had my dance fever shots at the doctor's office earlier this season. <laughs> As the dance ends, one of the players hops down from the stage and immediately starts talking to a young man leaning against the back wall. Oh, dancer. Did you see that, Tio? I got first double A on Stop the Beat. Hell yeah. Okay. You guys look so 80s. Oh my god. Yeah, it did. Doing great. Remember last month you couldn't even pass that song? Totes impressive. I'm gonna keep practicing and one day maybe I'll even suppress you. Hey, I hope you do. Good supportiveness. Good job not being toxic masculinity there. Woo! I really enjoy how, like, kind of balanced this game is. And when you do, you can be the one that brings in new dancers and teaches them how to play. Okay. This next song starts my eyes shift from their conversation to observe the gyrations and intricate limb movements coming from the show stage. I feel my head bopping, my foot tapping. Hey, it's a really catchy song. Can you blame me? Getting really into it, Win. Feel a hand on my shoulder. Care to dance? How about you want to take the spotlight? Sure, I can learn as I go. What? In public? I think not. Yeah, let's dance. Back when I was stomping around on dance mat games as a kid, they had arrows. Not sure I even know how to play this one, but it's got my curiosity. Previously observed conversation, this guy seems to know the ins and outs of the weird dancing game. And is keen to watch. Before I commit to getting down with my bad self, I think I should know a little bit about exactly what, what that entails. Plus, I'm used to playing these games solo. Less chance of stomping on someone else's foot that way. Tis a valid point. However, how can I resist to ask a person such as yourself? You Caught my eye the moment you walked over. You Hey, wait. You're new here, right? I, uh, you've never seen me before. No, of course. <laughs> Yes, very. Name's Mateo, but everyone here just calls me Teo. Okay, Teo. Teo's the best. Boogie Woogie Rando. Greatest guy here. The Wallflower Rando. He's sort of like our uh, leader, yeah. Oh, please, I'm nothing, really. Sure. He looks directly into my eyes. Nothing as special as you. Ew. I just like to show newbies the ropes and teach them how to play. Our community is small, but we're all super close. Great. I think you'd be a perfect addition to our gang. So, what do you say? Play our silly dancing game? Nope. Tio outstretches his arm, waiting for my hand to grab his. Go for it, politely decline. The offer is hard to refuse. Dance games are fun, you know. But I can't imagine being up there dancing in front of the huge crowd. Maybe after I've played show team stage multiple times. Alone. Possibly in the dark. <laughs> I'll give it a try eventually. After I sort out the basics. Maybe you could teach me how this thing works? I would enjoy that. I've taught my lead-footed newbies to make, become master movers and shakers. No time for lessons, unfortunately. I'm on the clock right now. New floor attendant. Dainty. Really? But I haven't seen you around here at all. What happened to the other guy? I mean, yeah, I'm new. You just said that. Oh my god, Teo. 
He was actually pretty good at Showtime stage, now that I think about it. He's out, I'm in. It's currently year zero of floor attended dainty regime. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, well, it's my honor to meet you, dainty. Hope we get to know each other well. <laughs> no. There's someone that loves Showtime stage as much as you do. I haven't actually seen you play yet. True, most of the time during these meetups, I tend to let everyone else play. I go around and make sure everyone is happy and having a blast. But what about you and your feelings? Tio shrugs. Uh... Uh, my happiness comes from making other people happy. That's all I need in life. Which is all well and good, but I still need to deal with this crowd. How best to handle it? You want to film a workplace safety video? I need to seriously talk about crowds. We need to talk about crowd sizes here. I know you're having a ball over here, but this crowd is blocking the emergency exit. By law, we have to keep a path present. Can't you let it slide? Just this once. Mm -hmm. For me? Nope. <laughs> if I let it happen once, then there's gonna be happen all the time. I get it though, you're crazy passionate about this game, and that's a good thing. But stampede on my first day of work would be bad for everyone involved. Could you imagine the headlines? Local attendance floor attendant trampled on first day. Blood everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. I don't want to be checking my social media tomorrow when you click the link to your obituary. We totes can't have that. I got this. Luckily, the song has just been played, just finished. Totes jumped up on the stage, cups his hand over his mouth. Hey, listen. We need to keep the area to the left of the stage clear. Oh man, but why? I like my sport. Hey now, you know the deal. We all have to be cool about fire safety. It's Dainty's first day, so let's show them some respect. See everyone turn around and glare at me. Evil. <laughs> Great, now I'm gonna be known as the party pooper. I guess I had worse reputations in my life. Like that one time I had to close the pool because of that dirty band-aid bandage floating in the water. No one would talk to me for a week. Hey, hey, don't disappoint me, crew. Dainty's just doing their job. Reluctantly, the cat crowd reshuffles in a semi-orderly fashion. <laughs> so everyone settles in the safer way of watching the game. Tio jumps down and comes back to me. Better. I know, I'm genuinely impressed with how Tio can capture his community's attention. They listen to them. Have an utmost respect for him. Yeah, actually, much better. Didn't mean to cause any trouble. Sometimes we just get so caught up in the game, you know? Of course you know. For sure. Hey, you should still join us later. Maybe when your shift's over. We'll all be here dancing until closing time. As long as that dancing is within the law, carry on. Officer Dainty has spoken. I start to walk away right for my next venture when I remember something I should do. Turn back to Tio. Hey, uh, thanks. No problem. Okay. You feel nice and accomplished. I do too. I think this is where I'm going to end it for today. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for letting me know your thoughts. I am really actually enjoying this game so far. <laughs> if I'm too harsh on things, let me know. Uh, definitely want your thoughts. This is just fun. <laughs> it's actually a fun game so far. I totally just picked it up on random. So <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye!